We'll call the meeting to order at 6.30. Uh, first item set on the agenda to, do, to take action is to approve the minutes from the regular meeting held February 26, 2019. So moved. Second. Any, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Next item on the agenda you'll see is the tax overpayment ordinance that you all received uh, some explanation of in your email packet. Um, what this is, the tax collector is suggesting that we, we uh, add an ordinance to our list of ordinances. Um, it, it's something that is provided by the Connecticut general statutes that allow for the town in the event of an overpayment of taxes that is less than five dollars, if someone pays, you know, five dollars too much, um, we don't need to refund that. You know, if we if we we do refunds every month now, if someone pays less than five dollars or less, then um, the town doesn't need to go through the process of reimbursing that money unless the taxpayer uh, requests that in writing. Um, is this a common practice? In mo yes, towns? it's done in quite a few communities around town. Okay. Mostly, it started out, I think, in the bigger cities, but the small towns are doing it as well. Um, this is something that had been suggested over the time. Um, Lisa talked about it, uh, didn't, never pushed it, never uh, went through the process of putting the ordinance in front of us. Um, it would seem that the chances of an overpayment are pretty slim anyway. Well, surprisingly, like we said, we've been doing these, uh, we review the overpayments and the, re and the refunds once a month now. There's always a couple, okay. um, but, you know, not a, not a whole lot. Um, this, is, this was something that would have to go to town meeting. We would we <coughs> propose the tax overpayment ordinance. Um, that goes these one, two, three steps pursuant to the provisions of Connecticut General Statute Section 7 148B 2 and Section 7 148C 2B. The Town of Deep River does hereby authorize the retention of the overpayment of real property or personal property taxes of small amounts on the basis that the refund process is costly and burdensome in relation to the amount. To the town of Deep River by and through its tax collector shall retain any overpayment of real property or personal property taxes made to the town, provided that said overpayment is less than $5. Any such payment shall be placed in the general fund. In the event that a written request of the taxpayer by the taxpayer for a refund of the retained amount received prior to the end of the fiscal year for which the payment was made, the overpayment shall be refunded. So if if you all want to review this, that's fine. If you want to, if you think it's fine and move it forward, we just will move this to a town meeting, and, we'll and we'll, uh, the town will take a vote on it. I'll make a motion to move the proposed tax overpayment ordinance to a town meeting. I'll second it. Um, is there any further discussion? Yeah. No. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Veterans Memorial Green. months, uh, the benches have been cleaned and treated, the brickwork on the Columbia has been waterproofed, the granite stone above the Columbia just used to say deeper roll of honor that's been engraved with World War II with the start date and end date, uh, the bushes around the Columbia have been upgraded, we've done away with a lot of what I call the ugly bushes got flowering bushes in there and uh, they're still a little small but hopefully in uh, in four or five years they get big and I don't know if you know this is past Memorial Day some of them were actually blooming white uh, so uh, the pillar that was broken uh, as you're facing the Columbia to the right right on the road we've had that fixed somehow that got uh, that got broken uh, we replaced the eagle on the flight pole with a ball because it was the belief that what was happening to the eagle was when the flag would wiggle, it would catch the eagle and, and tear, the, tear it, tear it off. Rip it off. Right. The pathway has been put in from the green to the island. 
the cobblestones uh, that were on the island have been removed. How did they ever got approved to be a day were You just could not walk on it. So now what we have is all the way from the Columbia, all the way across the street, all the way up to the island. It's all, it's all nice uh, uh, matching brick. And uh, the thing that uh, myself and the committee is outside of the pathway, everything was done with residents in deep river. So the money, most of the money outside of the pathway stayed, stayed in town. Uh, but the main reason I'm here tonight is uh, we're looking for names. Uh, the first committee who was recognized on the uh, blue sign out there uh, had ideas many years ago of uh, recognizing other veterans who were not already recognized uh, from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Uh, and the problem they ran into is they wanted to cut down the trees. Uh, I never saw the plans, but it was my understanding that they wanted to put in a memorial to the right of the Columbia. And that ran into a lot of opposition and uh, the finally that first committee they went they went to flunk and then we they came up with a second committee. And the second committee uh, they hired an architect and she basically did the same thing. She came in with this uh, what I call the Taj Mahal that was supposed to go to the right of Columbia and again she created the same problem. Uh, we would have had to cut down all the trees and uh, none of the second committee members liked her, uh, liked her design which I have here and the biggest, thing, the biggest thing we didn't like about the design is it was $57,000 and it would, would have we would have had to put drainage in going to the, and we would have had to cut down the trees, we would have had to dig up the stumps and everything, so uh, that uh, it just did not go over very big. And then I suggested back 10 years ago that because the platform has to be redone, why don't we put the names of the veterans from Deep River, put them in bricks, and we had one veteran on the committee that was, uh, he was highly opposed to it. Uh, he says, if we do that, we're turning the platform into a memorial. He says, you're not going to be able to walk on it. Well, over the years, we found out that's a fantasy because there are so many towns around here that we've been to, that I've seen, and other members of my committee have seen where they put the names in the brickwork and uh, it's Lady Lake, Florida, uh, Old Line, uh, Niantic, uh, the submarine base, uh, they, they, they do this. So being a new committee, and we don't care what the old committee did, this is what we're going to go with. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to put the names in bricks. Uh, we're going to put them. We're going to redo that platform. And the name, but what I need, is we need names. I have, we have approximately 50 names right now, but I know there are a lot more out there. Uh, veterans who are not already recognized. Uh, and, uh, and even though you don't live in Deep River now, as long as when you joined the service, you were living in Deep River, uh, I'll mention Bobby Sampson. He went into the Navy from Deep River. He now, I believe, he lives in uh, Ledger or Stonington. Uh, Jonathan Lathan, I believe, he went in from Deep River. He now, I believe, he lives in Essex. Okay. And uh, like I said, we have about 50 names, but we need to, before we do this, we want to get as many names in as, as we possibly can. And that's why I'm here. Uh, Please give me a call at 860-526-5270. If you know somebody that joined the service from Deep River from the end of World War II till the present day is not already recognized, or give Jonathan Kastner a call at the town hall, 860-526-6020.
okay? And uh, hopefully we will have this done by 2020. But nice. uh, we, wanna, we wanna get as many names as possible, you know? Rich, I saw something that you wrote, um, maybe for the, the newsletter. It's supposed to go into the newsletter, right? If you, if you can yeah, condense no. that a little bit, we can probably get that on the website, uh, just you know, or, or something like that. Just get a notice out there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Something I'll like just that. Condense it. We're just looking for names that yeah. are already recognized. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah, all that information. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. And we'll, I'll have Amy yeah. put it up, and we'll try to yeah. keep that. Refreshed. And the thing of it is, uh, another nice thing about it is, uh, with the estimates I've got to redo that platform is we should have enough of money. We mm -hmm. should not have to do any more fundraising. You know? Good. So, uh, yeah, and like I said, I hope we're gonna have this done for 2020. That'd be great. But we don't wanna, we don't wanna get into, it. and another thing that we, that was a problem with this design is if we find people down the road, how do we add it to it? By doing the brickwork, it, it's very easy. Just go in there, have, have bricks made up, uh, chip out an old brick, put a, put a brick in with the name. So it's the, the cost of, of doing it is uh, a lot less than hiring somebody to come in with a machine and set it up and sandblast the name and everything. In, so. mm -hmm. but, but like I said, we need names, okay? And uh, like I said, we have approximately 50 names. Uh, one of the other things we are working on is uh, we've been talking about it long uh, veterans who did not enlist from Deep River, but who are been residents of Deep River, like myself. I didn't mm -hmm. enlist here, but I've been here 44 years now. Mm -hmm. Bill, uh, you know, uh, Richard Forrestal, he's you know, didn't enlist here, but he's been here about 48 years now. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about that too, but the main thing right now is we want the veterans who enlisted from Deep River or res residents of Deep River to enlist Great. Here. Okay? Great, thanks for all the work. All right. It's yes. looking better and better over there all the time. It's been yeah. too long. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay. All right, that's that for the items on the agenda. I, I would just want to inform you all, um, I've had Gina doing some research. She hasn't gotten everything yet, but we, for Middlesex County and for New London County on the membership of planning and zoning commissions, the, the numbers of alternates, numbers of regular members, just so we can compile that information, compare our community to our surrounding communities and see where we fit. Okay. Um, Good, thank you. Thank we've got you, mostly Middlesex right now. She's moved over to uh, New London, so I expect we'll have have a good con I'll get you that information and we can have a good conversation at the next meeting, I hope. Um, we also have uh, the announcement. I think you, you guys were at the earlier meeting, but uh, just so that everyone is aware, Route 80 is going, they're going to be repaving Route 80 this summer. Um, it's going to affect traffic all through Deep River, all the way from Killingworth right through down to Main Street. Um, in the end, I don't know yet when they're going to start, when they're going to finish, but it's going to be a project that's going to take place all summer. It, right now, it's affecting our, uh, our Memorial Day Parade up in Winthrop. I'm confident it's going to affect the, uh, they do that small triathlon that, uh, once a week through here so there are going to be some things that it may even affect the family day uh, road race that runs a little bit on route 80 so it may um, be an alternative to an actual parade not as nice but we could still assemble our veterans and other people yeah at the Winthrop Baptist Church yep. for a special ceremony yeah I'm sure we can do that or we or even at the cemetery we, I'm sure we can do that um, it's just right you know we just learned about that um, in the last week or so so just want to get everyone to notice as much as we can um, that's what I have. If, if there's audience of citizens, we've got a lot of folks here. Certainly welcome to something on the table. Go ahead, Jane. Um, especially now that you're talking about expanding planning and zoning, I want to make sure that you follow the proposal that was made at the last selectmen's meeting, which said that the board of selectmen would look at all of the applicants and then it would go to town meeting and by the way that is according to town ordinance um, so far the process 
has not been transparent. In fact, it's been entirely opaque. And this probably goes back quite a while. Uh, people wrote letters to the first selectmen. The first selectmen accepted or rejected on what basis no one knew. And that name was forwarded to the selectmen and from there to a town meeting. I think that what we have to have now is something that follows the town ordinance. And all three of you gentlemen voted for that at the last town meeting, that you would look at all of the applicants. And I want to make sure that that is what is done. Things have changed in the last few years. And things must be transparent as they have not been. So I'm hoping that all names will come before the Board of Selectmen as you voted unanimously <coughs> at the last meeting and that they are discussed and no one's name <coughs> is sidelined. Personally, I would suggest that anyone interested <coughs> in any board or commission in town bring their letter in person to the Board <coughs> of Selectmen so that it gets to the right place. Thank you, Jane. Um, we certainly will review the ordinance. I don't remember that uh, specific direction in the ordinance, but we'll review it. One of the things that was suggested to me as well was that has common practice has been for applicants to go to their political affiliated party and, and be put forth by the party. Um, that was suggested to me. Uh, earlier this week, so this that's is something else. Of the ordinance. Thank you, Jane. But I would like it back. Well, why don't you take it? I've got it on my computer, so I'm happy to review. All right, and it says Board of Selectmen and a town meeting. Thank you. It does not say that the first selectman is going to look at the letters and select. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, Brett. Just a quick Quick note that um, at the, the last, uh, the minutes from the last meeting did not reflect the fact that a motion was made and passed to do what Jane just described. So there's nothing in the written minutes that suggests that. But I'll look at the videotape. I don't remember that vote being taken. I remember that Tom Perry made a motion, but it's not that that the Bill Burdick made the motion. If okay. you look at the. Well, let's um, review. I, it's right on camera. Right. Great. That's, that's one of the reasons that we enjoy having the camera here. I will review that. I didn't do that to the meetings. I usually use it for my notes. We'll look at that. Thank you. And it does say we, the Board of Selection, will look at all applicants. Thank you. Yeah, and then you're supposed to come back to this meeting and discuss which applicants would be put forward to be on the PNZ at this meeting. That, that didn't happen. Yeah, obviously. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for pointing it out. Anyone else? You guys have anything? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all for coming. We have a town meeting coming up in about 10 minutes regarding uh, fireman's budget. If you would like to hang around for that, you're certainly welcome. Thank you, everyone, for coming out for our town meeting tonight. Um, I'll call the meeting to order at 7 o'clock. And uh, the first thing we need to do is get a nomination for the town meeting moderator. I'd like to nominate Dwayne Gage to be the town meeting moderator this evening. Can we get a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'd like to appoint uh, the clerk to Joyce. I need a motion. So no. move. No. no. Okay. okay. That's the point. All right. Okay. Point, point Joyce. Yeah. Okay. I'll read the call. Legal notice, Town of Deep River, special town meeting, Tuesday, March 12th, 2019 at 7 p.m. Richard H. Smith Town Hall Conference Room. To approve actions of the Board of Selectmen and Board of Finance regular meetings of February 26, 2019. One, 
approve supplemental appropriation of $34,992.62 from general fund to general fund capital expenditures fire department turnout gear 010-90-190-5 54163 as designated by the Board of Selectmen and Board of Finance. Dated at Deep River, Connecticut, this Wednesday, March 6, 2019. I need a motion on uh, item one on the call of the meeting. To make a motion to approve. Second. Um, I think the motion needs to be to, to adopt. Adopt, I'm to, sorry. To accept the call. To accept. I need a motion call to right. accept the call. I make a motion to accept the call. Second. Who seconded it? Jansen. 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 Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now I need a motion to approve item one on the call of the meeting. So moved. moved. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Nope. Let's, oh. let's open up oh, the floor for okay, discussion. discussion. I'm sorry. Um, that's okay. Uh, this is a really, a, a really happy occasion uh, for Deep River, for Deep River Fire Department, that we've had nine new members join in the last couple of months that have gone through, uh, through the process of becoming firemen. As a result of that, I mean, no, there was no way to anticipate something like that. We need to um, appropriate the, uh, the, the, that amount of funds in order to, to supply them with safety gear and turnout gear so that they can all safely fight fires and, and, and work for us. Uh, for details, though, I'm going to turn it over to the Chief or to Scott Bowden, the uh, Commissioner, to, uh, for a further explanation. Well, the uh, Fire Department, as uh, Andy said, has nine new prospects, new members, um, qualified people for our town. We're proud to have them as uh, volunteers in our town. It's unusual that we get nine in one year. Um, it's unusual for any town to get nine in a short period of time, so we're really blessed with that. And uh, what we're asking for tonight is the personal safety gear for the nine firefighters, so we can put them out online and um, put them to service to protect our property and lives in the town of Deep River. So um, I'm very pleased to bring this before the town tonight. Um, and uh, <coughs> wishes of uh, all of us, I think, in town for the safety of our, our fellow citizens, our brother and sister firefighters, that they have the best equipment available to uh, help us um, they give everything and they ask nothing. Uh, so we should consider it strongly. Yeah. Anyone else? There you go. Okay, uh, like to vote, vote on this item? All those, All in, those favor? in favor? Aye. 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 All those against? Motion carried. There you go. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.